Hello guys. So um, I just filmed the last video this morning and now it's in the afternoon. So I'm thinking um, to film another video about the transform from the transfer from day makeup to night makeup. Um, but actually, it depends on whether you are at home or you still stay outdoors. Um, if I am at home. Um, and I'm planning to go out at night, I definitely um, will remove the makeup that I have on already and I will just reapply uh, the makeup so it looks perfect. But if you still stay in the office or if you stay outdoors, you are not at home, you can remove your makeups. Um, I would definitely suggest to touch up the makeup and then transfer your day makeup to night makeup. So if you want to see the transformation, um, stay tuned. Step um, for the whole day or for the whole morning, you definitely will have some extra oil around your face, no nose, um, your forehead. If you have oily skin, I definitely recommend you um, to put the blotting paper uh, in your bag. This is the, the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. Um, facial blotting tissue. It contains tea tree oil so it is good for oily skin people or um, people who have acne on your face um, and it does smell like tea tree oil so you can definitely use a blotting paper or if you don't have one you can use tissue. A tissue can always blot your extra oil definitely. Just press this paper around my nose and trying to absorb this oil. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any oil on my face, so yeah, I do have dry skin. <laughs> anyway, um, so after that, you can definitely um, apply powder and the powder that you use is really important because if you're going to clubbing, in some cases that you might take some photos and you don't want to look like a moon face or um, a greasy board in the, in the picture. So I would suggest using a matte finish powder or the powder that doesn't contain any SPF or the powder that it won't uh, the, or the powder that it doesn't contain uh, shimmery that it makes your face glow or so. So um, I have, so I'm just going to use the MAC Studio Fix powder and it will just look like this. And my shade is C3 and it has a little sponge and just dab this in and I'm and I'm just going to press this around my nose. The area that I just have, the area that I just absorbed the oil. So I'm just going to pat this on. And the next step is to fix um, the foundation that you apply in the morning because the foundation in the afternoon it might melt because not long wear or it doesn't stay on your face that much time so definitely it will melt. Um, it will be like you won't be that perfect the first time to just apply it on your face. So I will just use um, concealer to like cover my black circles or any imperfections on my face and I'm just going to use my finger. Your fingers should be always the best tool for you to apply makeup. So I will just apply a lipstick after. I'm just going to um, moisturize my lips beforehand so then the lipstick won't be like cakey on my lips. So I'm just using a lip balm that doesn't have any colors on and that is and that is the Burt's Bee um, replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil. I love this. So, okay and moving on my eye um, since I have eye makeup on and it's impossible for me to re uh, to remove the eye makeup because I'm pretend that I'm not at home and I'm in the office to reapply my makeup so 
usually what I do is just to apply the cream base um, eyeshadow like a base or like a sticky base and the rest of my um, eyeshadow can stay on all night. Some cream eyeshadow to cover the original color. So I'm just going to use the color tattoo from the Maybelline um, Eye Studio and that is 24, uh, 24 hours eyeshadow. That is the shade um, 20, 25 back to the bronze. Oh my god, so it looks like this and I'm just using my finger to warm it. It will look like this on my finger so I'm just applying this on the outer part of my eye and I'm just going to padding this because I don't want to get too much colors at one time so I'm just like placing this color on the outer corner of my f eye and using another clean finger to blend this yes and I'm blending this inwards so it will look like this so I'm just going to use the eye studio um, give, him, give me gold palette and if you don't have any blush with you you can use the sponge that it come with the come with this so I'm going to use this golden color right here and apply this on the middle of my eye bore and using the other side of the sponge and I'm going to use this bronze color to the outer corner of my eye. And then start blending this upward to create a V shape. Keep going. I'm just using this color again. Applying this color close to my lower lash line. I'm using this um, pinky gold color. Apply this on the middle of my lower lash line. And then, okay, moving on, I'm using this white shimmery color, the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so moving on, I'm using eyeliner from Kiss Me, and this is the Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. So I just shake it. And since I just applied a pencil eyeliner um, this morning, and I would just need to shape this line again. You can definitely draw a longer eyeliner to complete this look. I think this look it doesn't really need any full lashes. So I'm just going to reapply mascara. And I'm going to Put a little bit bronzer.
and I'm going to use the blush. And what I like to do is just blend the blush and the browns together. Roll lipstick and um, barely beaten and it just looks like this. I'll just apply this lip color in the middle of my lid. I hope you guys think this video is useful for you, um, giving you guys an idea about how to transfer your day makeup to your night makeup. A close on my lip. And my eye. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.